In this clip, I will be reviewing and unboxing the Brutfener 120 set of watercolour pencils. I will also share with you a free downloadable colour swatch chart and money saving code. I will start by mentioning how I came by these pencils. I was contacted by an online store called Grabby and they reached out to me to see if I would like to review a product and I chose these pencils as I thought these would be of interest to many of you. Grabby is an online store that supplies a wide variety of products including art supplies and if you use the link in the description below and the code SPECT15 you could grab yourselves a Black Friday bargain. So I was really encouraged to see that the pencils were well packaged. Sometimes I've received pencils in the past and they haven't been had any wrapping around them at all inside the box and they've been broken when I ordered my Prismacolors over a year ago there was no packaging they were completely loose and some of them were broken so this was encouraging to see so the box has a hard plastic case with a cardboard sleeve around it detailing the pencils and there are five languages on the back including English so it gives a description of the pencils it says there are blendable pencils are the perfect coloring solution rich vibrant pigments and expertly balanced shades provide superior blending whether you're a beginner a hobbyist or a professional artist these premium pencils are ideal for all creative work from quick sketches to intricate details so the first impressions when i have the box is that there is a wide variety of vibrant colors i'm really excited to open the box when i get it open and i look at the colors now when i open these colors i notice that the colors are not arranged as i would like so the first thing that i will do as i do when i open all of my pencils is i will arrange them as i like it comes with this really useful chart where you can put the the numbers next to them but i have created my own chart which you can download for free so if you go to the description below you can download that and it will be according to how i have organized the colors which you may find helpful because some of the colors are not as they appear on the outside as you can see the pencils are distributed amongst five plastic trays and these are not like usual trays where sometimes the pencils can move around and get damaged. These trays are really secure, sometimes too secure because it can be difficult to get the pencils out, but they are really secure. Here's a closer look at the pencil. I was really impressed with the pencil. There were no cracks or splits and the labeling was really clear. However, if Brutfener could do one thing, that would be to give the pencil color names. However, this does not affect the quality of the pencils. At time of recording, the whole box of 120 pencils is £29.17. That works out to 24 pence per pencil, and that is before the 15% discount is applied. So before I make the swatch chart, it was important for me to organize the pencils and quickly test them out to ensure that they were all in a good color order. And as I mentioned earlier, some of the pencils appeared differently on the paint color on the exterior than on the actual color themselves. So that was why I organized them, got them in the right order. So if you want to use that swatch chart and use the correct order that I have, please visit the description below, download that swatch chart and follow along with me the color scheme that I have chosen. When completing the color switching, I created a gradient going from dark towards the left to show a variety of shades and I found that the colours laid really well. They perform very similarly to watercolour pencils that I've used in the past and were also similar in quality and composition to Crayolas in that they layer well but are slightly waxy also. I also noticed that as I moved through I was really impressed with the wide varieties of colours and the vibrancy that the colours produce.
I decided that it would also be useful to have a swatch of the watercolour pencils activated with water on the same swatch sheet. So I added washi tape on the same swatch of colour, however I added the washi tape really carefully so that I didn't rip off the colour from the colour pencil. So I added the water very carefully, not adding too much water and making sure that I cleaned the brush in between and I found that there was a really good mix of the colours and that the colours appeared really natural. There was a good mix of natural colours, especially in the reds and the warm tones. Because there were a variety of colours to choose from, it was very easy to find the colour that I needed and layer the colours before activating with water. I used 300 GSM Arches Cold Press watercolour paper for this demonstration and if you would like to see this demonstration in more detail, it will be released in a further clip. You will also find details in the description below on how you can buy this original painting or in printed form. Back to the demonstration. When using watercolour pencils, I would recommend using either a nylon or nylon mix brush. The brush that I'm using is a nylon mix and you will find details in the description below. When using watercolour pencils, it is always best to draw or shade in small areas first and then apply the water in minimal amounts so that you don't spread to the next area. The reason for this is so that that area will dry before adding colour to the next area so that you can have applications and they don't blend into the next area. Overall I was really happy with these pencils. They were packaged well, they layered well, there was a wide variety of colours in the pack and they activated well with water. So I will definitely be using them again in my work. If you've been tempted to buy these pencils, then make sure you click on the link in the description below and use the discount code SPECT15. If you would like to see more clips like this in the future, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell. And if you would like to see more reviews, then make sure you click on the playlist to the left.